Hello and welcome back to Demonology, an actual play podcast. We are in Guernsey for Le Channel Horreur. This is now episode 12 and I continue to be Siobhan, your medium. My pronouns are he, him. Hello, I'm Fionn. My pronouns are also he, him. And I'll be playing Sir Rumpert Umpert. Hello, I'm Mo. My pronouns are they, them. And I'll be playing Eli Swalthorn. Hi, I'm Felix. It's really a tragedy that I'm not really, really rich. My pronouns are they, them. I play as Countess Valentina Lisitsa. That's it. Hi, I'm Amy. My pronouns are she, her, and I play Pipsa the Hog Hag. Hi, I'm Belle. My pronouns are he, him, and I'm playing Armitage Shanks. Waste management extraordinaire. <laughs> And notorious waste man. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Now, last time we learned that... Oh, Amy. Sorry. I got the hiccups. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, for listeners, Amy has the most adorable little hiccups. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> last time we learned... In not a cool name, <laughs> that Hell and the Fae were leaking onto the island of Guernsey, causing strange transformations to the flora of the island. As we were in the midst of Eli's fairy party. Is there any significance in the trees turning purple? Like, does anybody magically might be able to? learn about that or know something about that did anyone do a perception check i think i did do a perception but i don't know any magic-y stuff i i got magic i'll toss in a perception you could ask placide the druid oh yeah magic. i'm gonna go knock on placide's uh, oh. door and be like yeah because she's the doors while the party's happening <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's an old lady you know they in my experience old ladies come for a bit they you know they fuss they get around and then they retire early to like have tea and a cigarette <laughs> it is it as as we have returned at 7 p.m placide has done exactly that she is in her house smoking a pipe yeah, a exactly so i knock on the door like placide if you will just the uh, trees have gone pretty funky and she comes to the comes to the door and opens it and takes a look around at the trees Puffs her pipe. Oh, yes. Now that is strange. It yes, seems that was my thinking. to me that a great act that is unnatural to the order of the world has taken place, and uh, perhaps this very night it has taken place. And Tell me, true. you say that, uh, God bless her, that Margot de la Rey is a witch. Oui. And that she went to punish Ben Rult. Oui. And that the men there say that she had went to hell. Si. Well. Few things are more unnatural for a living person to have returned from hell, no? Oh uh, shit, so she's back? I would believe so. Fuck. Well, let's kill her then. Uh, we, we don't know where she is, obviously, but um, we'd rather not kill her. She seems like a good lady who just got very sad one day. Sometimes Surely people get very it. sad. <laughs> Surely we could send the bugs to look for her. Yeah, I think that'd be a really good idea. You've already summoned them once, though. Can you do that again? We oh, they're around. Around. they're still about. Oh, they're just around. Okay, sweet. Mm. Uh, I, I would say definitely send the bugs out looking. Okay. I'm going to do that then. Very good. You send bugs of Guernsey to try to find Mario de la Mm hmm. The bugs of Guernsey. A millipede pops up from the ground again. Scuttles up your dress, Pipsa. Yeah. Oh, hello. 
I wish I you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> And onto your shoulder, and from its chittering, because of course it has little mandel mouth parts. <laughs> mm-hmm. Really hated that description. Little mandible <laughs> mouth parts. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's Say it ten times system. really quickly. <laughs> little mandible mouth parts. Little mandible. Mouth parts. You know what I just thought? Because it probably doesn't. Because it's so quiet, she won't be able to just hear it. It would have to like kind of just gently nip on her inner ear to like create the vibrations to talk no, to her no that's not fucking happening <laughs> how else is, how else is it not. you can do that to Philbert the pig and he can translate the message for me I'm, I'm not having a bug in my ear thank you very much <laughs> uh, from its chittering into the pig's ear we shall say Philbert lets you know that thank the bugs you. On the main island, have not seen Mario, but on the chittering grapevine, the the change seems to have also occurred on um and Sark in the last hour, but it's across the islands. So it seemed to have been, it seems that she returned and in her return across the islands also transformed them. I'm going to so go don't know over. where she is. You don't, but she's, but the, she doesn't seem to be on but the main island. But she's affecting two islands. So we can maybe try and like triangulate her position based on how much she's affecting it. Can I go over to the pirates and ask if they've got a map of the islands on them? Apolline says, ah, not on me. Uh, quartermaster, she does. Is she here? She is not. Fuck. We thought it best to not send all of the senior crewmen to this affair. No, it was a good decision, but um, slightly annoying in this juncture. was fine. Um, okay, so that won't work. But we know it could be on her... <laughs> Or suck. What if we split up? So is that what we're gonna do? Um, I, I don't know. We need I'd to. Like, I, I think, think we, we could do. I uh, I think we should go check out. We could go check out the um the church, and then go to bed. And we can use Eli's agents overnight to check on both Ern and Sark and see which is the one they think needs um, focusing on. Amazing. I can do that. I can't send them now, can I? I have to wait till we go to bed. Mm. Well, do people want to do that now and then check uh, check out the church tomorrow? Or do we want to check out the church? How far away is that church, Siobhan? I can penetrate on any field of knowledge if I get... Um, it is a almost at the other end of the island, so it would be like... From, from there to there in two hours. It'd be like a a two and a half hour journey. Probably. Okay, so should we do that tomorrow? Yeah. Then, rather than travelling the length of the island at night. Why do we um, need to go there? That's uh, because the dark uh, presence was felt. I see. Okay. I okay. could I could um I can pe- I can penetrate on any field of knowledge if I get an early night's rest which I feel like this would count as so which one and then I can use that later on the next day later on in the scenario so yeah let's do that what should what should I study overnight um I could do a cursed and the rev and revenant studies so nothing has really been brought back to life I can do demonology and bound taxonomy. I've got that one already. Um, um, Anything to do with hell? There's church law. That's. Uh, um, I think a cursed and revenant could be useful, as could um, as could church law, but it's about whatever you want. One of those. I two. think. 
I think we'll go for accursed and revenant studies, just because okay, something nice. brought the ghosts back. Yeah, which I think we'd come under that. Hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Siobhan, I'm gonna use my totalizing study, which means that I can pen a treatise on accursed. And on a, on a cursed and revenant studies, and at any point later on in the scenario, that can be expended to count as having the field for any test, recollection, or research. Very good. So, as the party read that you shall bid adieu to your guests and go back towards Castle Cornet. Oh, before we go, can I tell? Can I just pass on to the signori that um, the names of uh, the. Of the cover. So Agrippine Berger, Francine Baquet, Septimus Urbeo, Massio, and Inessa Rattois, um, as names to be uh, on the lookout for, for um, to bring news of their presence immediately to us. Yep, you can absolutely leave that with, with the Signore, with, with Emery. Excellent. Right, so you start, you head away from the Bell Forest, in the Bluebell Woods. The journey back to Saint Pierre Port is, uh, yeah, little little hour journey there. Oh wait, no, you're in the Blue Bellwood, so it's actually like a forty minute journey, but it's quarter an hour, an hour back there. However, on the fort road between Cherbourg, where the forest is, ah, there it is. Yes, the Ozar steps. Journey back up the fort road. You hear a uh, a whistle, a sharp whistle, pierces the night air. You hear the caw of a f of a falcon, and then you hear a woman's voice say, "Arret! Arret!" At which point? Arrows start flying towards you. Oh, excellent. Duck to the ground. Everyone duck. You're on horses. And in the carriage. Um, okay, let's charge straight at the arrows. Wait, <laughs> let's see what everyone else wants to do. I suppose we should try and dodge them. I mean, you know, if I'm in the carriage, I don't need to dodge anything, do I? <laughs> who, else the, who else is in the carriage with the Countess? Just I think it's countess. Armitage. Yeah! Um, <laughs> could I feasibly order the bug? Oh, wait, is this the next day? Have we gone? No, this is, this is all, Same night. still the night. Could I feasibly order the bug army to intercept the arrows? Like, would there be enough of them to catch the arrows and fly them the, in the opposite direction? Oh my! I I don't know if they can do the opposite direction, but they can definitely stop them. Okay, let's do that then. Could you roll me a a command, please? So let's sway. Uh, would you want performance, or just no? You want command? Sorry. Just command, yeah. That's a success. Woo! The bugs erupt from the ground, bunch of winged beetles, and just nab these arrows from the air and slap them away from you. Sick as fuck. <laughs> that was pretty damn cool. That was that was pretty damn cool. Then you uh, you see from the sides of the road that there are. Mm, 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 mm. Five people on that side of the road on horseback coming towards you, and five on that side of the road coming towards you on horseback. Excellent. Um, uh, are we assuming that these are the witch people? They're firing arrows. I don't, if there's ten of them, they don't seem like the witch people. Uh, I'm going to... Rumpet's going to shout, cover your eyes, everyone. This will be um, unpleasant. And he's just going to hold up a scrap of parchment in the night sky and says, light, please. And it'll explode into phosphorescent white light, uh, which will uh, half everyone's attack and uh, temporarily 
disorient everyone who is looking. Could I also jump in on that and potentially use my Beast Whisperer talent? And then could I feasibly uh, make an animal handling test to make the horses they're riding on stop riding? Like stop riding. Oh! Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, go on. Oh, unfortunately. Can I fate point Ooh. it? I'd save your fate you points. Hit it with a, hit it I have with four. Hmm? Oh, you have four? Go ahead then. That's a success. There you go. There you go. Nine of the horses stop. One of them just keeps coming. All right. Um... um. If I ha I don't have time to make nerve paralytic, do I? Me don't. <laughs> hmm. I have an idea, but am I allowed to go again or not? I'm, no. I'm a bit confused. Are we able to see the people? You can see that there are people on horseback, but it's uh, and How sort far of a, away a half. They? they would be in your long range. So out of firing distance. Unless you have a long range weapon. I've got a bow I could shoot, but do we want to shoot them quite yet? They, they shot can, us. They see, okay, cool. I, I'll, can I ready my bow and fire at the guy on the horse? Yes. Let's go. Oh. Yes. Oh, no. Rat. Ah, you miss. In fact, you more than miss. The man who is charging at you, his great sword out, Actually, dings the arrow away. Ooh. No. Okay, so how powerful no, he is that guy? Now that he is closer to you, you can see that he has magnificent flowing red locks. Oh, and he rears up his black horse. He gives a bark of a laugh. And he's ridden himself to be within your medium range. And as he gives a bark of a laugh, it's like this wall of wind issues out from his body towards you. Um, hold up. I can, I'm going to use, uh, oh, I want to use Wondrous Binding. Oh, we have to <laughs> react to what Javon's just said. Yeah, yes. I know. I am reacting to him. I'm seeing here now. I'm saying... Let's use Wondrous Binding, because we can't shoot No, him. you have to react to what the thing is going to do. Do we need okay, to... Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. So what you need to do, you need to make a resistance test to avoid being thrown from either your horses as you are, or out of your carriage as those are who are in the carriage. Is it can all I, of us? Can I yes. instead roll transport to maneuver the carriage out of the way? You can try that, Countess. Thanks. Resistance Walking rolls, everybody, cards. please. Yeah, hey! And, uh, transport. The Countess <laughs> emerges from her carriage, pushes aside her own coachman, and just rips the reins with great speed. <laughs> but still heading for the 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 rider. Just uh, you can't head Siobhan. for the rider. I can't. Because it's coming because, from him, it wouldn't make any sense yeah, that you were avoiding right. it by going towards him. Um, Siobhan, can I add military tactics to it? Because it's like avoiding getting knocked off a horse, which seems fairly military. I can throw that. You can throw that in. Let's see. I got a uh, success. Oh, which is okay for you because you're in the carriage. Yeah, I was going to um, say. Pipsa, you were knocked from your horse. Um, Eli, you were knocked from your horse. Rumpet managed to stay on his horse. Rumpet, no, Eli's not. He got no, Eli's thought. not. Eli's oh, fine. Woo! Oh, 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 Eli is fine. Pips, you're not from your horse. You take one damage. Okay. Is it now me and Armitage? Yes. Okay, now I want to use, if you're all right with this, Countess, uh, now I want to use Wondrous Binding. It's two casts. That's okay. We can, I can, in that time, I can use my maneuver to get us closer to him in the carriage. Yeah. So... Oh, how does Wondrous Binding work? Do I have to, what do I have to roll for it? Or does it just happen? It just happens. spend two casts. I just spend two mm. casts on it. Okay. Oh, no, you don't spend two casts. It means it, it can be cast twice. Oh, sorry. Okay, cool. 
I, I cast Wondrous Binding. Could you give me the exact word of Wondrous Binding as I don't have it up for myself? So the witch realist has made a covenant with heaven to bind this creature with light from paradise itself, holding them faster than any mortal bonds. You call cords of light that wrap tight around a target. A monster may take an action to break free, but, dam but incurs damage equal to your virtue. So Wondrous Binding, these... Uh... Well, actually, what's it look like when you cast Wondrous Binding, Amateur? This is the first time you've cast it. Okay, so what happens is I drop trowel. Excuse me? <laughs> what does that mean? I he drop his trousers. Oh. And stick my tight little white ass out the, uh, out the window of the carriage. And out of my anus, just four burning cords of white light fire out and wrap themselves around him. Mostly focused that one goes, because uh, he's on a horse, isn't he? He is on a horse. So can I unhorse him using this? I mean, if he's still riding and then he has to stop and the horse doesn't, then you would- Yeah, just, just by physics, he has been unhorsed. So what I do is, yeah, so, so two go around like his midriff. One goes around his um, arms, and then the fourth goes around his mouth and nose, like kind of just covering him up in that way. And uh, the horse carries on riding. He's held in the air for a second and then thumps to the ground on his side, and he's just lying there, unable to move. And he's, he, well, hold on, the carriage is still moving, isn't it? No, I'm, I think I'd stop in, in medium range because... Yeah, I don't so the want carriage to get just stopped. So the carriage just stopped. All right, cool. So he's just lying there on the ground now, wrapped in these cords. It's now his turn. We are into round two. The horse keeps coming, of course, and it charges up to the carriage. It just rears, it swings around, rears its hind legs towards the carriage and just fucking hoofs it. And that actually knocks the carriage over. Okay. Can I uh, roll athletics to land on my feet? Yes. I will also roll athletics to land on my feet. Oh no! I, hold on. I land on all of my feet. Can I? Can I all roll six of them? Siobhan, can I roll machinery? because I understand how the carriage works and find myself in the safest point of the carriage so that when it collapses, I'm, I come out unharmed. So basically I stuff myself into a corner as it falls. So although I don't land on my feet, I'm on the ground unharmed. I'll give it to you. Roll, 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 roll me that machinery. So the Countess and Armitage are tumbled, but safe. Uh, Vodka and Gorilka, who I imagine were on the carriage, they, they're just thrown. <laughs> as, <laughs> as, is the, as is the coachman. Siobhan, would I recognise this uh, animal that's just kicked, this horse that's just kicked the, uh, the coach? Oh, I, you would. It's a shag foal. Yes, I thought it might be. I shout out, if anyone has any face to it, it would be a good idea to shoot the fucking horse. Uh, at which point I, um, I, I stand. With, I oh, that in on. How long does, it, um, does that dazing on your enemies last from your big parchment spell? Uh, it lasts for a... Uh, doesn't specify how long it lasts. You brandish stain parchment in the wheel chat like... This will disorient, disorient anyone caught unawares. First time it's using the confrontation. Yeah, half their attack next turn. If Very good. Okay, um, I'm going to stand up in the saddle and I'm going to leap in the air and I'm going to turn into a Leonine Chimera. Oh! Okay. Rumpet just explodes into an enormous black lion with 
the back half of a goat, a snake for a tail, and a roaring, scarred lion face and leaps into the air and starts to fly. Uh, and, and then I'm going to um, fly down to the... <laughs> fly down to the uh, shag foal and bite and? into it. I'm hearing an and there. That turning into a chimera was an action. And that moving towards oh, the shark right. fall is a maneuver. Okay, in which case I'm just going to fly up into the air as, the, as a chimera. <laughs> I should note that there are more arrows coming in. Yeah, I know. I assume I get the strength of the chimera whilst I am in that position. Yes. Yes, yeah, sir. right. Okay, that's fine. The archers, startled by the chimera, send all their... There are four archers you can see now, because there are four arrows coming up towards Rumpet. But isn't, there, uh, isn't it half, or is this just the four arrows it being halved? Oh, the four arrows, the damage they do to you will be halved anyway when they, when they hit you, but there's still four arrows coming. Okay, can I do a dexterity to, to avoid them? Yes. A dexterous mid-air maneuver. Yes. Can I get an extra die for being in the air? Yep. This, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's four successes. Well, shit. Rumpet's never been more nimble than when he's been an eight-foot chimera. <laughs> As uh, that is happening, the men who were blinded, so that you know, the men who are with the the man who was on the shagfall are acting uh, like monsters that move between your roles because they aren't as strong as the shagfall itself. So once the arrows go up, Rumper dodges them. The other riders start to move in again. The archers are holding their position. You see that two riders pull up axes and are riding towards the, the downed Pipsa and... Uh, Two other riders um, coming towards you. They actually leap from their horses when they're in mid-range and pull a pair of daggers each. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, hold up. So they're just random guys. Isn't this my turn now? Yes. All right, cool. Your well. Part, bestie. Everyone always forgets good old Armitage. He's got a pair of belt pistols. So his trousers <laughs> are still around his ankles. Blasting. His trousers are still around his ankles. He's got to fish around a second along the ground to like get him out. <clears throat> but then he, he pops his little head out the window, which is now because the carriage is on its side. He's like, it's like he's in a tank. He just pops his head like it's a turret and spots them both. And I think he's going to aim both his pistols at one of the guys. Well, you need to, to secure one hit first to, sh to, to fire the other. other. Oh, do I? I can't shoot them both at the same time. No. Off-hand weapon. You can okay. go pew pew, but not pew. Okay, fine. No, I fire one. Season. I fire one. What's this? I always forget Weaponry. which one this is. Which if is you succeed thing. on the first one, you can do it the second. You can do it again. Cool. Is this us? This is athletic. This is weaponry, right? This yeah. is weaponry. Yes. Fucking hell. All right. Holy shit. I get him. <laughs> <laughs> are you firing at the guys who are on Pipsa? And then I miss with the other one. Are you aiming for the ones who are near Pipsa? The hatchet men or the dagger men? Okay. So where are the dagger men again? The dagger men have arrived on the uh, Eli side of things. That's who they're coming for. And so who's closest, the hatchet men or the dagger men, to the people? Like, who, who do I need to protect quickest? Uh, probably Pepsa. Pepsa. Right, cool. So uh, I, fire these at the ha I fire this at one of the hatchet men. What's the damage on your pistol? Uh, my pistol is two damage. He's, he's dead. He's dead. You, sp you, fire, you fire into him and you just... Keel's over dead. Gonna open a beer with that. Excellent. With one raider dead, the other raider... Actually, no, they've done this stuff. They closed in on Pipsa. They are moving again. Uh, Pips, what do you want to do? I'm just... 
I've got a lot of thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm wondering. I have two. I have two questions. <laughs> Firstly, could Philbert potentially use some of like the knitting wool in his papoose to run around the legs of a horse of the big the big horse and tie its legs together that will be a challenge filbert is not a combat animal yeah but could it feasibly work or would it be too risky would it would i kill the pig you might kill the pig okay second question could my bestie potentially rabbit punch slash wrangle the animal bestie yeah what's best what's bestie rolling with bestie has got he's got a broad sword he's got a spiked ball and chain and he, his ability is rabbit punch it says can knock any human out cold in one quick and quiet blow can also grapple, attack, and wrestle any monster while barehanded, even if it would seem implausible. Bestie can wrestle the horse. Can can I get Bestie to wrestle the horse? Yes, yes, you can. Perfect. Bestie declares, For the mysteries! And runs <laughs> and just charges the charges at the sack wall, just gra- wraps around his neck and starts to wrangle, and it goes, Come here! Come here! <laughs> Perfect. He's a very dedicated young man, I say in Chimera. <laughs> so, best you got from the shack for what do you want to do, Pips? Because there's still a man with an axe above you. Ah, oh, yes, I forgot about the man with the axe. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I guess I should probably try and whack him. Yeah. I think I'll use my quarter staff then. Would that be best? Because I've, I've either got an arbalist or throwing axes. The quarter so staff's quarter. probably best in this situation. Okay, let's go for the quarter staff then. What do I need to roll? Just your weaponry. weaponry. So fitness. <sighs> oh, famously terrible at combat. <laughs> <laughs> So you swing your quarterstaff at him, and he 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 hops away from you. So you you bought yourself a little space, but you've not hit him. But you are on your feet now, so you're in a better position than you were before. Fantastic. At this, that falcon that you heard screech dives out of the night sky at Eli's face. Oh God! <sighs> Can I dodge? Yes, I would. But my de- dexterity? Yes. Yes. Yes, you see, you see it coming and you stop, drop and roll. Wait, I'm still on my horse, I think. Can I... Oh, yes, you are still on your horse. Kind of like, like roll to the side on your horse, horse and then pop back up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clink like oh, oh, again, more Legolas shit from Eli. That's <laughs> <laughs> sexy. Unlike Legolas. Sexier than Legolas. There's the tagline. Oh, that's quite a title. Countess, you got something brewing? Nothing brewing, but the I presume that there are people that might be in my close range. The infiltrators are in your medium range. Uh, the archers I, are, yeah. further, are further back in your long range, as is the person who controls the falcon but you could do some moving around i can move uh, into the close range of the people that are closest to me and just shoot at them well that would be the raider who went for um pips the one that's still alive oh that's the fine ex. so countess because you succeeded in athletics you can hop out the carriage and get into close range of it well, I am already out of the carriage. That was why I re-rolled athletics. Oh, yes, of course, of course. This is the fire. That's one. And that's two. That's for build pistols, which have two. 
And ba bam, he's dead. Uh, yeah, just make my knights come near me. That's it. Mm -hmm. For now, and uh, we've acted on the ground. The men struggling issues a roar and tears away the wanderers binding and they shrivel into little specks of of gold on the ground and vanish what's the damage that he's going to take alex what's his what's your virtue alex but one. uh unfortunately my virtue is one crazy <laughs> that you're a ritualist with one virtue absolutely because i'm not a good man he's not a good <laughs> man <laughs> <laughs> He's a coward. So, yeah, but my virtue's only one. But that was all the things that he could do getting free. So, we're into round three. In round three, Bestie is still grappling the horse. Could you. Uh, oh, could you roll me two dice for Bestie's brawn, please, Pipsa? Um. I sure can. Two. But you should be skilled in brawn. So would that be three? Oh, that would be three. Oh, and he keeps on fighting that shag foal. What was that? He keeps on fighting the shag foal. Goody. Um, Siobhan, can the chimera act? The chimera can act. Yay. Uh... Spotting Rod, uh, spotting uh, the the redheaded gentleman <laughs> bursting out, um, the chimera is going to like howl, and it sounds like Rumpet's uh, Rumpet's laugh, really high pitched, and Ew. swoop down and pick up Roderick. Oh lord! Which I assume uh, might be his name, and and then I'm going to uh, fly back up into the sky. And I'm going to inflict four damage, a minor injury, and he needs to take an endurance test um, to stop him from becoming paralyzed. Very, very good. I shall roll uh, his endurance for everyone to see. There he goes. He goes tumbling out of here. Hits the deck like a sack of shit. But was the sack of shit hard enough to paralyze him? Oh, the poison's what paralyzes him. The poison is what paralyzes him. Oh, and the oh! fucking will. <laughs> okay, yeah, so he's... Uh, his... How long oh, is he paralyzed so for? So it's a progression thing. So uh, on this round, one arm is paralyzed. On the next, it uh, will affect the other arm. On the one after that, it will be his leg, and then it will be his entire body. When he hits the ground and feels the poison seep into his arm, he shouts, Fuck! This! Lissa! Lissa, we're fucking gone! The bounty isn't worth it! Pick me up! We're, we're going! Oh, hello. And hearing that, the infiltrators actually turn away from Eli and uh, just run over to Roderick and pick him up. Like this, the one that slings him over his shoulder, the one just keeps standing guard, two knives being like, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> so that's their action, which is picking up their boss. Are we going to chase after them? Well, you've all got turns. You do what you want to do. I've acted and poisoned the fuck. <laughs> um, so who else is there now? So how many people are carrying him? Um, I mean, once... those are just people. We should. I don't think it's going to do us any measure of actual good to necessarily kill them. But maybe no, they're fuck these ball. guys. I want to kill them. How many of them are left, Siobhan? <laughs> We've only actually killed two. So there's still eight left. And are they yeah, I think we should sack that off. <laughs> I mean, it, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if we kill them now, we won't have to fight them later. You may not have to fight them later, as the man just said out loud, fuck the bounty, it's not worth it. I don't care, I want to kill these guys. They came for me, I had to drop trial, hey. I'm killing them. Yeah, you, didn't, you didn't, you <laughs> didn't, no one had made to. you drop trial. <laughs> It's the way I do it, so and it was important that I do it. So yeah, I did have to drop trout. Actually, I mean, if they're on horses and they're retreating, we might be able just to like knock someone off, and they might like leave them behind if they're not. Can I aim for someone's leg and interrogate them? 
We can aim for someone's leg. Whose leg? I want to just, I want to aim for one of just the general guy's legs. Because the thing is, even if we shoot the main guy in the leg, they're still going to pick him up and carry him away. I want to shoot one of the guys that they'll happily abandon in the leg. So they leave him. And then I want to kneecap a guy, basically. So the ones you go, you came out of the carriage, you were in close range to the infiltrators. Roderick was over. Wait, there. I'm in close range now. Can I like hit them with my stick and just. Break no, them no, I'm, I'm. I was explaining where you were, that you were in close range to the raiders. The infiltrators were actually. They actually had to run back towards Roderick because your wondrous binding took him when he was at medium range to the carriage. So you'd have to get closer to them before you could shoot. I'm still stuck in the carriage. Well, there, there were so I can't some close to me, but they've moved away from me now. Yes, they moved away from you now. So who? So none of us are actually in shooting range of them? Not currently, no. So we'd have to move well, into shooting range. Bow, could I shoot one of them? With your bow, you could shoot them anyway. Because I could go for a horse's leg to try and get somebody knocked off their horse and then they might keep going. No, I don't hit a horse. I mean, I could try and hit the guy. But <laughs> he'd probably fall off his horse too. Yeah, hit a guy okay, well, in, like, I... the stomach so we can keep him alive. Okay, I aim for the nearest guy to me. The one that, the... That'll be the infiltrator who's not carrying Roderick, who's like, ah! Cool, yeah, they probably won't wait for him, so that's fine. Yeah. Throw the weapon me, please. Okay. Yeah, that fella, that fella takes it right in the knee. Oof. Nice. And he goes down on his, on his good knee and goes, ah, shit. <laughs> Is he being Poetic like... bounty hunters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can move in towards him. Arrows are coming again now, though. And now they're coming for you because you, you're the one who's holding up them getting their boss away. Ah. Do I need to dodge again? Yes. Well, hold up. Can I fire my gun rather than to, like, hit anyone, but more just to distract them so they shoot at me because I'm in a safe position, like, covering fire? The so arrows I... are already coming. Oh, okay. Woo. And again, another fantastic horseback dodge from Eli. Can, can Eli go from on top of the horse to hanging underneath the horse while it's still running and then back on top again? <laughs> Yeah, that's sick as hell. <laughs> uh, let's see. Roger hit the ground. So, oh yeah, enemies again. Uh, this time, uh, the screech in the air of the falcon, and it comes swiping down at uh, Rumpet's lion face. Uh, An interesting if a lion could smile, then it does. <laughs> <laughs> um, does will this trigger a resting bite? The Luna and Chimera tail bites any in close range for two damage. Yes. Is that a passive? Is is that a passive ability? Uh, no, it doesn't say that it is. So I'm assuming it's not. It's not. Nah. And you've already done your big paralyzing drop on the ground thing i have uh in which case uh what does i don't know how this works does damage carry over uh, after a fight from um changing shape only if you lose all your health okay cool no then I, i'm just gonna sort of like kind of snarl at it <laughs> It comes down, it swipes you across the face. Uh, that, that, that's a, a two damage you take there. Okay. One of the um, riders in the back comes forwards towards Roderick. And you see that this one, now that she is closer, is the woman. The falcon actually comes to land on her shoulder. And she puts out her arm towards the infiltrator who didn't take an arrow in the knee. And he slides Roderick across the back of her horse. Uh, I don't know. It does the Countess want to do anything? No. <laughs> I, as in, actually, I could shoot at the Shagfall because I still think that that should stay dead. 
The shag, yeah, well, what like, is the shag? Well, the shag flow is still being wrestled by Bestie. By Bestie. That... I can still Bestie's shoot on the case. But not. You know what would be really funny right now? Oh, God, mm. what? Because I've got a second Wondrous Binding. <laughs> Oh, what yeah. if I just did a wondrous binding on the woman that just came to save him? Well, I really prolong this battle. Well, more just to see who that woman is. The battle that they're trying to leave. Yeah. <laughs> that would be really, wouldn't that just be quite funny? Yeah, but is it necessary? Well, surely we should know who this woman is. Because she's yeah. the organiser. She sent him just in. To be fair. Who who the fuck are these people? Yeah, like who are these people that tried to kill? Well, him? that's Red Roderick, by virtue of be him being called Roderick and him having your red hair. Wait, so he's a bounty he hunter. Have... Yeah, but Roderick who, doesn't who have anything to do him? with this fight. Who, who <laughs> paid him to kill us? Why yeah, do we have a bounty is, on us? This is this is the moment for me to reveal that some time ago Eli took a devil's bargain. Damn it! That bargain Damn placed it, on Eli. my head quite a large bounty. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're expensive. <laughs> so this woman has. Uh, I don't need to. I don't need to try and capture this woman. Oh no! no the bad hunters fucking go. The bad hunters saw themselves get fucked up and were like, "It ain't worth us all dying for this one job." Wait. Okay. Cool. Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's let him go then. Fuck it. So she collects Roderick. The infiltrator is like, gives her a look like, "You're gonna take me," and she's like, "Fucking run, Rodney," and she's. She turns, starts to charge, and the man, the infiltrator of is just like, oh, Christ, and puts them away and just starts running after the horse. The bounty hunters around you, the, the archers, they also start to move away, and in short order, Red Roderick's band, it is Red Roderick, uh, have fled, at which point uh, the shagfall finally frees itself from Bestie and goes a charging off. To its master, Roderick's, Red Roderick's one of those characters that I've I've now I've killed twice, um, and <laughs> and, and he keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> like personally, I have killed him twice with two different characters. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so well we've done. not so we've not got any of their guys. Well, no. I shot one in the stomach. No, you've got the one guy who you got who you got in the in the knee, who oh, yeah. is still very much there and alive and annoyed oh, cool. that they left him. Okay, and so he's like okay. a fighter of some kind. We can question him about who hired him. But also, him the, the devil, the devil hired him. But oh, yeah. also, we can use. I've got Socratic dialogue, and because he's quite a low level character, I can use my Socratic dialogue to convince him that I'm like a person he should follow. And then I just end up with someone that's quite good at fighting just to support us. Because, like, that fucking knee. arrow in the knee is going to be fine. Like, as long as we put him on a horse. It's... And the Countess really? has got horses. And you have some more horses, so there's too many yeah. of you. Can, I'm just with, saying, I'm just behind. saying, like, you know, silver linings. We could use this guy. Yeah, why not? So do you want to collect up the horses, get this man on a horse, and get back to Castle Court? Yeah. yeah. Yes. But this strange interlude. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the final battle. I thought, oh, we got it. This guy is the devil. We're on it. <laughs> this guy we've never met before is definitely the main guy. It's all come together full circle. <laughs> I mean, at the best of times, I don't know what's going on. So, like, in my mind, I was like, this is it. This is the final battle. (laughs) This is what you've been training for, Alex. (laughs) So, Countess, your carriage wrecked. But you have two more horses now. Thanks. Is my carriage driver alive or must I replace him? Your carriage driver is alive. He He was simply thrown and decided best to keep his head down while the arrows are flying. Noble. Bold. Right. right, so you turn to Cornette. There are just a huge number of children sleeping all over the castle now, thanks to Emily Devic. They simply don't have the space for all these kids. They're like on piles of hay in, in the ballroom. They're like in the drawing room on the couches. The Silent of the Lamb. The Silent <laughs> of the Lamb. Armitage goes off to pen his treatise. Oh, I need to send my agents off, don't I? 
Yes. yes, and my own silly mistake last time we did this, you, te- you sent Tom Sean Casey to watch Mario Delahaye's house, but I didn't tell you what he found because you didn't roll for him. I forgot to prompt you. That's okay, I forgot about him. Poor Tom Sean Casey. Uh, does that mean I can't use him if he's still there? Oh, uh, you sent him off uh, last time, so he actually would have come back with a report, but I didn't have you roll for him. So can you roll for him now? I can. What, what do I roll for him? You sent him out to keep an eye on the house, so he was doing a scouting mission. I think he has two expertise in that. He does. I think. Is that just two D? Yeah, two D six. Wait. Oh. Something. Is this going to be something really useful that would have been helpful earlier? Um, Tom John Katie doesn't report that he saw. Anything at Mayo de la house. Because as you now know, she was in hell. Indeed. Cool. Well, <laughs> glad we did that. Uh, but now I can use Tom Strong Casey, can't I? Yes. Cool. We want to send one to the island? You want to send one to her and, and to one to Sark? <laughs> one to Sark and one to where? Hearn. Hearn, okay. Um, I could send Wallace, but I would probably send a minder with him. <laughs> where do we think is most likely going to be where things are happening? Because that'll just be where I don't send Wallace. Well, Hearn is the place where her house was burnt down. So there's a strong chance that it could be there as she'd know the island quite well. Mm. Uh, and Sark is just the pirate place where we know that there's a lot of hippocampoi and uh, possibly sirens. Okay. Can I send Tom Sean Casey to Sark and then Wallace and Swithin to the other place. So Tom Shantkati is scouting Sark and Swithin and Wallace are scouting Erm. Yeah, Swithin's there to make sure Wallace doesn't die. Elton Swithin, sexiest man in Bristol. <laughs> right. It is our next day. Hysteria is at... 15, not a 12 anymore, because, you know, whole island, all the islands, hell, the fae, that situation. Public opinion, still five. They still love you. Still still golden there. I don't think I've seen public opinion be so high. It's never been this high. Literally in any game of this, of this game I have ever played, public opinion has never hit five. Wow. We're just that lovable. People love us. Guys, let's start a socialist revolution amongst little likers. Let's do it. Why not? We cut. This is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> this is what Marx was talking about, you know? you got to pick your battles. Pick your time. The morning of the fourth day. What are your plans, people? Well, we want to go down. To, we well, want to find a wait, way. Wait, can't to... we find out what Eli's agents have found out? Yeah, yes. Whole... Yes. Yes, you can. Eli, can you please roll me again, Tom Sean Katie's scouting for Sark? Mm-hmm. Come on. Yes. Old reliable Tom. He's doing well. Good thing I didn't send Wallace. Should we resolve both of them before you tell uh, tell us what they found? Uh, yes, please. Since it's two of the other ones, do they go together? Yes. So that, is that four? No. Oh my goodness. Yes. Snuck in there. Snuck in there. What Tom, Sean, Katie saw is that there is a chapel. Oh, no. That's what Swithin and Wallace saw is that there is a chapel on um, called St. Dougal's Chapel. St. Tugel's Chapel is unconsecrated ground. And uh, they spotted uh, 
a uh, a person with a bag over their head being dragged into the Undercroft by two other figures. Okay. Okay. That could... so that seems suspicious. Yeah, that could be. And the people dragging him appeared to be fishermen. Ooh. Oh. Bingo. Um, Bingo. What's his name? Um. Wait. So. <laughs> what about I... Sark? What did Tom Sean Casey say? And on Sark, Tom Sean Katie, when he was towards the north of the island, he didn't spot anything, but he did pick up a weird smell of sulphur. Hmm. Considerably less suspicious. Yeah. But sulphur could be a byproduct of a summoning. Mm -hmm. So. Hmm. I'd say the fisherman with the person with a bag over his head is probably the best way. Yeah, to that's it. a priority. <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with the summoning later. Okay, so our targets today are to, we need to go back to the uh, back in the church. The church that Emily told us about and then head over to St. Tugel's Chapel on Urn. Should we do the church first because it's on the island? I've yeah. got sorry to derail everything, but I've got a question about that random henchman guy. Yes. Could I really quick roll because I've got medicine? Could I really quick roll a die and see if I can just like bandage him up? Because I think I can then use my uh, my um, uh, Socratic dialogue to then talk to him and then get him to just be one of our henchmen. It just gives us a bit of extra oomph. Yeah, roll your medicine. Go ahead. Bam. He's fixed, baby. He tells you that his name is Derek. But is he not? But now I keep, but the thing is, my, my Socratic dialogue means that he becomes personally interested in being close to me and allows me to gain an extra level of influence over him. And because he's so low, that basically just means that he follows me. Yeah, that's what that means. So Derek is now my man. Oh, God, awful. he has an assistant. <laughs> oh, God, how awful. <laughs> this is the worst Ooh. possible timeline we got Derek with him nice Derek I'm going to change your name <laughs> um I like you I like you I like you but I, I shan't be changing my name okay Alejandro <laughs> he we'll, sighs we'll, we'll circle back to that All right, carry on. Sorry, I just wanted to get that. So it's back towards the Bre du Val and St. Samson's Church. Uh, so it takes you about an hour to get up towards St. Samson's. As you know, it's a ramshackle looking church, not very well cared for anymore. Anything you want to do before you set off? Or are you all set? No, I think we're fine. At St. Samson. You're all outside the church. Anyone want to do any perceptions, any insights? Uh, yes, I would like to. Uh, can I just do uh, the, the sniff for evil for three die, if you don't mind? Guys, we sniff for evil and we got a success for the first time this campaign. <laughs> I've successfully sniffed for evil. <laughs> Yay. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You smell rotting flesh and a little touch of sulfur. Oh, that's sulfur again. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So uh, uh, at the sort of the the smell of that, Rumpet's going to very quickly um, cast um, Scorn Light over my uh, axe, or uh, sorry, uh, Wrath of Sudas over my axe. Um, and then light it and then open the door. What's everybody else doing, huh? Nothing. Mm. <laughs> is Derek, is that, is, sorry, is Alejandro, is he with us now? Can he be with us? Is he well enough to? He can't walk on the leg right now. Wait, can he ride? He can ride. Okay. Let's see. You had three horses already, and then you had the two more that you picked up. So Alejandro is on the horse with Armitage, by which okay. I mean Derek. Derek is on the horse with Armitage. So Alejandro, and, and what, weapons, what, what weapons does Alejandro have? Uh, he has uh, two knives and an S stock. What's an S? What's an S stock? Short sword. Short sword well, for stabbing. I get stabbing. I get I get him to draw his S stock. Um and can I give him one of my guns because I've got two guns. You can do that. He won't necessarily have to know how to use them. All right, fuck it. No, I'm not going to give him a gun. I'll just give him my S I'll, I'll just get him to draw his S stock and um I'm going to sit behind him on the horse. Wait, are we outside? Sorry. You're outside. Rumpus the only one who's walked in so far. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get him to stay outside on the horse, and I'll follow. He'll, he's gonna stay outside on the horse with his S stock drawn, ready, watching, standing guard basically, and I'm gonna go inside, following with my pistols drawn. Everybody else is staying outside, or what you doing? Hmm. Can we back up? You're gonna linger on the outside as backup, Eli? Yeah, may- maybe, yeah. maybe not all of us should go inside just in case something goes wrong. I can go inside. Why not? Yeah, like maybe split. I don't mind being on standby. Because you can always run in if a fight starts. Break through a window. Yeah. Pepsi, you staying on backup or are you going in? Um, how many people do we have going in and how many people do we have them back up currently Rampant and Amateur are going inside Eli is outside, Countess are you going in? yep, you back up, Countess is going in as well then I'll, I'll stay back up then. what about Countess, what about your goons are they going to stay outside? no, they can come with me okay cool, well, so we've got a pretty it? good contingent coming inside in case anything goes wrong and you find that the, the pews are full of people silently praying. I'm going to put my guns back in my holsters. <laughs> Can someone make me a perception check inside the church, please? Um, Can I do the same one again? Yeah, three, su- three successes. Holy shit! Nice, Rumpet. What you perceive is that there is a whispering. Worship us, worship us, praise, praise, praise us, worship. Coming from above, from the rafters of the church. There will be no worship here. Except for this Protestant God. (laughs) (laughs) There is a quick whispered conversation. What language did you speak, Rampart? Seemingly all of them. (laughs) Uh, I speak um, Romantic, Germanic, Celtic and Slavic. Celtic and Celtic and Slavic, Celtic and Slavic, as well as demono- uh, demonological and fairy. Oh well, you do know what they're whispering because they're whispering in demon in Hellion. 
And the whispering uh, is, sorcerers, sorcerers. The mistress said they would come, sorcerers. And then all of the people within the church can hear this now. Leave. Go. Leave. You will die here. <laughs> and I this yet. <laughs> is a perfect moment to bring this episode to a close. Damn! Damn. So close. So it's about to kick off, isn't it? That's it's about to that. kick off. Fuck. So basically what happened there was Siobhan was like, the next fight is going to take a full hour. That's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> There's <laughs> absolutely no reason for me to keep recording at that point. That Yvonne was like, I want my fucking dinner. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Anyone have any guesses as to what they are? Well, what are the people? No, the um, whispering presence. I do. The whispering presence that you vitally... Can only hear and not see. Yeah, I know what these are. What are they? They're Shedim. What's Shedim? The Shedim. Oh, uh, I vaguely know these. They're these like man sized <laughs> invisible demons who have the head of a ram and the ass of a rooster and the wings of a vulture. And they like get people to worship them and strip like. Scratch at people with talons and spit poison. How easy are they to kill? Uh, they're not actually that hard to kill, but there'll probably be three of them. Um, and they're vulnerable to meteoric iron and uh, sanctification and dampened by sanctification. My cross is embedded into my shoulder. So gross. Is, so, so is that is that that's sanctified, is it not? Because that's my... It's a holy symbol. Yes, in technicality, your body is sanctified. Horrible sentence. Horrible sentence. <laughs> so Amy, if, I were to, be... if I were to attach that to my... If I were to hold that whilst I held my, my stick, that would, if I hit that, it would dampen them. I'm going to ask my questions. 10 a.m. on the fourth day's way of conclude. I have three questions for you. Have you learned a new detail in your hunt for the demon's hand? Uh, yeah. yeah. What would it be? That, uh, that's they are located quite probably on um. Also, it's the the, the Shadim, whatever they're called, up there with them. I will give you that you that you're closing in on their location, so that's a prestige for all. Hooray. Have you made a new? And or useful ally in your hunt for the demon's hand. Dude, Alejandro. Pinieri. Alejandro. Stop saying Derek. Derek, as we've established, is a bounty hunter who's noting action whatsoever for the demon's hand. He's the pirates. The pirates. The pirates. The pirates. Two prestige for all. And now, the friendship question. Have you formed a closer bond to your fellow inquisitors? Oh. Armitage, how about you? Oh, see, this, uh, I'm trying to think. Um, you did. We did an say... exorcism in a we all, carriage. Yeah, we, we did you an exorcism in a carriage. I saved. I saved uh, Pipsa with the shot, and I also went into a place hiding behind uh, uh, Fionn's co uh, coattails as usual. You also made me a cake for my. Pie. I also made you a cake. Armitage has been the best friend this <laughs> session. That's three prestige for you. Three prestige for Armitage. Yes. Eli, closer bond? Uh, don't think so. I can't think apart from making the cake with Armitage. That counts. That counts. I'll give you the cake. Three prestige for Eli. Pipsa, closer bond? Yeah, I saved your life. Either with Armitage or could I could I argue Bestie? <laughs> bestie? <laughs> Unfortunately, Bestie, whilst technically an Inquisitor, which is really funny, uh, <laughs> doesn't count. But Armitage does. So three prestige for Pipsa. Rumpet. Uh, 
I don't think I did actually, in all honesty. Uh, I can't usually I, I have I have something I, I do with Adoran other than um maybe We almost from... had a threesome. <laughs> you what? didn't almost have a threesome. She was amused by you, but that wasn't that wasn't a yes. <laughs> I almost had a twosome. <laughs> Uh, I would say the only thing I can think of is everyone doing the exorcism of Odd. And you did lead that, so I will give you a prestige for that. Countess. There's the exorcism. The double exorcism, actually, so you can take either of those. That's three prestige for all. Woo! What's that make your ranks look like? Anybody going to move up? Or is everyone pretty solidly in the... I, I do, but I'm just trying Any... to find... Pipson needs a nickname and a, and a title. <laughs> Those will hey, be no. conj- conjured up at the next time we come to this table. But this has been quite an adventurous session. So much happened. And I shall say thank you for listening to Demonology, an actual play podcast. This has been Le Channel Horreur. Please, five stars, you have listened to us. Reviews, whatever the review may be, I don't care. Say what you like, say what you had for lunch. Talk, um, share what your therapist said to you in your last session. Don't do that. That's confidential. That, That's confidential. Don't do that. That, that, don't was, do a that. Trick. that was a tell trick. Us, tell us what I should rename Alejandro to. Give us some suggestions for Pips's nickname. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. that's a very yeah, good one. Yeah, that's a good that's, one. That's a very good one. And uh, thank you to Oscar Russell for graphic design, for much tower design, and Pasha Sofla for our music. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.